Hi, my name's Sherry. Welcome to my Stampin' Up! Studio. Today we are going to do a really cute kids card. But before I do it, I want to make a couple of announcements and they kind of tie into to my card. So the stuff I'm using today is out of the annual catalog, but the holiday catalog um, will start in August. I will be ordering them on July 1st. So if you want me to send you one, your name will show up if you have purchased $50 or more from me um, since January of this year. And that's how I make my mailing list. I just go to my customer order. So it doesn't count classes. So if you've only taken classes with me, I'm happy to send you one. You'll just have to let me know because I pull the names from the customer order forms from Stampin' Up um, that way. If you've never ordered from me before and you don't have a demonstrator, contact me. I'd be happy to send you that catalog and this catalog if you don't have it. So there's that. Then starting July 1st, there's a whole bunch of things. First, there's a paper sale and I'll show you that in a second. My um, gifts with purchase, one of them will be a, um, if you spend $225 or more during July with me and they can accumulate, um, I'm sending you a free one of our project kits. So that details will be in my email that goes out tomorrow. Um, so that's my thank you gift. There's lower ones too. I always have um, levels of thank you gifts. I have the peach class that's open for registration right now. The paper sale starts on July 1st and Stampin' Up! has several papers that are on sale. So we're gonna use one of those today. So the one, I told you I'm doing a kid's card, right? But this paper's on sale, it's beautiful paper. I'm sure you don't look at it and think, oh, I'll make a kid's card, but we're going to. So it's, it's super fun. Then the style of card that I'm making today, we will make, again, we're, we're gonna do another version, exact same scoring, folding, all of that in my peach class. And we'll use the peach paper, which is also one of the ones that's on sale, but that card will look totally different than the one we're doing today. So you'll wanna sign up for my peach class, it's online. So that's, I think, most of my announcements. So I'm gonna use Stellar Birthday. This does have a coordinating die. It doesn't go exactly with, but the give it a whirl if you want to spin the things around, cause you know, you can make your rocket ship fly and stuff. Real cute die set. I have it, but I didn't put it on this card cause I wanted to show you this card so I could remind you about the peach class and I wanted to remind you about the paper. <laughs> so, but it's super cute. And the thing I like about the card I'm gonna do for you today is how many times do we get a really cute stamp set like this but we can't get all of these stamps on one card. With today's card, we're gonna use them all except for Reach for the Stars. I didn't put that. That's more, I think, more of a graduation and we're doing, well, I would say kid's birthday. If you have an engineer or a husband who loves space, I mean, there's a whole bunch of, um, they'd like the big, big Bang Theory, Star Trek. I mean, you can pull it all in. So I say kids, but it really can be for anybody. So what you're gonna do, and I will have these measurements over on my blog, and the blog address will be below the video, unless you're on Facebook, then you'll just have to go to YouTube to get the, the video. So we have these different pieces of paper. So here is the beautiful beauty of the earth paper. But when you flip it over, it was a great substitute for space on this card. So I didn't want to make it, I. There's not very many women in my life I would give this card to. Um, I do have several of my daughter's friends who are engineers and stuff, or in the Navy, stuff like that. Um, but I was more thinking guys, kids for this card. So I didn't put, it takes a little bit of work, but not as much as you might make for your girlfriend or your mom or somebody who's going to be, oh, I love that card. So I wanted the paper to do the work of space because we can make some cool space because we have the technology and the materials that we can make the space card or space background. But for this, I was just going to let that paper that's going to be on sale next month do the work. Okay, now we're just going to score this. This is five and a half by four. Like I said, all the measurements will be on my um, blog afterwards. So let's move this up here. Everything fell off the table, so there may be a little blip in my video. So you're gonna score, so you wanna use your light blade. So three quarters is our first score. And if you don't have a, a paper trimmer, well, if you don't, you need to get one, and our paper trimmer, trimmer is fabulous, but you can use a ruler and just mark these. So we have um, three quarters, then one and a half. I'm scoring nice and hard. And then we have two and a quarter. They're all even. So if you see a block that all of a sudden doesn't look the right size, then you've not done it. Um, you've messed one up, which you could probably fix it if you haven't folded it. And then this is three. So three quarters, one and a half, two and a quarter, and three. And then you can see we have these nice panels here. So now you're gonna make the mechanics of the pinwheel. 
Let's see if I can put this like, over again. I moved stuff and then it all fell. So now you're gonna take a bone folder and you're just gonna fold all these in. So just start here. I'm just, just kind of bend them in first like that. And then I'll take my bone folder and just press these so you have nice um, strong creases. That'll help your card fold better in a second when we start sticking all the stuff on top of it. So we have this. And then I highly recommend either the green glue, which you'll have to let dry for a minute, or the Seal Plus, because the Seal Plus is our strongest adhesive. So you're gonna take this panel right here and add your Seal Plus. And that's as it's folding in, and you'll see in a second. So you're gonna make a little box And see right here when that folds in, now you have the box and that's what you need. So see, super simple, nothing to be afraid of. And then I have on um, these panels, which are four and a quarter by two, I'm not gonna tell you. You'll have to go to my website, otherwise I'll tell you wrong. So we have our square, sorry, I had embossed, I have a hot mess. I um, spent most of the day helping care for my father and I'm trying to get this, to, um, it's not a difficult card, but this card done quickly and I didn't clean my table up very well. So now I've had um, black embossing powder that was everywhere. So I've cleaned that up. So you're going to take these and they stick on each of these little, oops, like a house of cards. So they're going to go on like this. So if it helps you the first time you make one of these, I would do one for a template and then you kind of have it. So now you kind of see how they go. So you just fold these over. And again, you're gonna, gonna wanna use Seal Plus if you have it. So this one goes here. And I find it's easier to do this part and have it stand up, because then you can actually see the pinwheel taking shape. So got that one, press it on well. Then this next panel, so you're always working with this right panel over here. Again, I'm gonna stand it up. I'm gonna put this one right here. You know, I, I'm not a huge measurement fan. I'm not a huge fan of cards that are difficult unless it's the art part, the mechanics part, like I'm not an astronaut, but now you can see how it's gonna happen. And now you can see also the embossing powder that got on my card because I didn't clean my table up and I did that card yesterday. If you saw the layered watercolor, um, that was kind of messy. So put this on here, it just took a lot of embossing powder and I thought it was off the table, but apparently not. So there we go. So now we have this. So now you can just kind of stick your hands inside and push the, the papers down. Now we're gonna decorate it. So I'm gonna leave this like this for a second. I'm going to take a piece of white cardstock and then I'm going to stamp. These images are adorable. They're completely adorable. So I often when I make a card like this, I even if it's not who I'm giving it to, I kind of have a person in mind. So this is my little nephew Kai. So there he is. So that's gonna be Kai and then of course, this one's gonna be my daughter, who will be 27 this weekend. So you know, this is her a long time ago. So there we have that. And the dies, like I said, there are dies that come with this, but they don't cut these characters out. It's a coordinating set. It can go with a lot of sets in the catalog. And then this is just the leftover cardstock from cutting all this other stuff up. So there we have that. And like I said, um, doing this cute, and I would be proud to give it to anybody, but the amount of time I'm gonna spend is not what I might spend if I was making a wedding card. So I have blends in skin tones and kind of red, white, and blue, partly because it's the 4th of July, partly because these are little American astronauts. So I have um, Daffodil Delight. I'm gonna color dark here, get their little stars here. have this little doggy astronaut. See, everybody has astronauts, right? Here's the light daffodil delight. So you can see I am not really blending. The only thing, I'll show you two things that I'm gonna um, do a little bit of time, take a little bit of time doing. And then the rest of this, if you wanna see the whole color process sped up, um, check my Instagram in a couple of days and you'll be able to see it there. But I'm gonna take my um, light smoky slate and take my brush tip. Mm, let's do Kai. I'm just gonna add some highlights of smoky slate. 
just like that. I'm gonna do the same on her. I'm gonna do the same on, I'm gonna add a little bit stronger over here on my rocket ship, like that. And then for that, I will take my color lifter and take your bullet tip and then just kind of bleed that out. So it gives some shading, but they can stay white. So for anything and everything, which is a lot on the our little astronauts that's white, I'm just gonna add this highlight and then it's super fast to color them in. And you can see the color lifter. If you don't have one of these and you have blends, you have to get one. See, it just kind of rubs it all in. So then it gives that fabulous shading. So super cute. So there we have Kai's outfit. Now let's go, um, I'm gonna color him with ivory. And I'm gonna color her in petal pink, which you won't see me do. If you, if you go back to my Instagram later, you can. So I'm using the brush tip. And the nice thing about the blends is they won't leave that streaky if I do a couple of coats. So I'll color him in like this. Get his little brown skin tone going. And then I'm gonna take, for him I have the ivory. Just color his hair with a little bit of ivory. And then I'm gonna take the light black, which you have to be super careful when you color with the black. So again, the brush tip. But now I have that base of brown that can kind of bleed into that. Give him his little, it really should be black curls, but you know, you work with what the stamp gives you. So we got that. Then here's the color that my daughter's gonna be, the light petal pink. So I'm gonna give him some cheeks in that. And then we'll go back again with the, make sure I picked up the right one, the ivory. And just kind of give one side shading. So I'm gonna color the rest and then I'll, when they're finished, I'll come back and I will show you kind of what I did so you can see it. Okay, so I'm done coloring them in. And like I said, you can go back to Instagram in a couple of days when I put my sped up one there to see. So here they are, super cute very basic color palette of red, white, blue, and yellow, and then the natural colors. Again, there are no dyes, so I'm going to fussy cut these, and then I will be back. Cut them out, and now here's where the fun comes in assembling these cards. So what I recommend, and the peach card that we do will be, again, totally different than this, because uh, the stamps are so different, but what I recommend is that you do one panel at a time. So let's lay this flat, and it doesn't matter which one you start with. Make sure that they're all closing well. And I found that it's, sometimes if you just open and shut it a couple of times, then they do better. So you want, each one's going to kind of tell a story. So they kind of pin well over. And look at all that um, embossing powder. Okay, it is what it is. So we're going to start. I'm going to look at my other one, which isn't finished. Usually I have finished ones here, but this one's not finished because I will have enough time today to make two finished ones. So we have um, our larger panels and our smaller panels. So for this one, let's do, we're just going to pull these over here. And this one says, have a stellar birthday. So let's go with this panel and we'll pretend this is for Kai's birthday. So I want him to be on the one that says, have a stellar birthday and the one that we could also sign. So it doesn't matter which order on here that you put them, wherever you want. Then there's these little star ones. So let's add some stars here. And then let's add some stars here. You can go back in and color these. If um, you wanna add some Wink of Stella, you can add some Wink of Stella. I am not going to color them. I will color them at the end of the video and then I will post the final pictures on my website. So you can go look at it all colored in. But I'm going to show you that you don't even really have to. It's super cute without it. So again, I'm going to use my strongest adhesive just because, especially if you're giving this to a child. So just line, it's very obvious. The little ones go on the little panels and the larger ones go on the larger panel. So once you have the measurements, because you've gone to my website to get them, it will make perfect sense. So just line this up to the edge. They have a little bit of 
um, give. I almost did them four because, you know, if you do four inches, you get more uh, pieces of paper out. But the paper's on sale, and I liked it all being sky because it's just cute. Now we'll add him floating through space. Let's go this way. And then we will add some stars to this panel. And you can get some, people make whole entire giant scenes on these. So, I mean, you can get the potted succulents and you can just make all kinds of flower arrangements on each and every panel. So, each one tells a story. But like I said, this is for children, <laughs> this one. And so, I'm going to go easy. Take my little rocket ship. Just going to send that up. So, this one has this. And then let's pull a big panel in and I'm going to get the stamp that says there's no one like you in the whole universe. Just put that there. Go back to my stars. The stars and the little planets are great for this because there's lots of words, enough words to kind of fill in the whole thing. Um, but then the little stars and the planets do all of the, just adding a little bit additional. So again, small panel. You do have to be careful with the seal plus because you don't get two chances unlike our regular seal. And then this one goes here. And remember we're using this fabulous Beauty of the Earth paper, but nobody would even know that that's what paper you're using. Put this one right up against here. So we've got this panel. Okay, so now we have this way. So for this one, I've got the words that say you're out of this world. See what I mean? We're using up all everything, all the images in a stamp set. And I know lots of times we get stamp sets um, and two or three years later, we look at them, we're like, I've never even stamped with that. So we've got the you're out of this world. Oh, here they are, I was looking for the planets and they're on the same. So I'm gonna put two here. Let's go over here. Gonna add some planets there. And this panel I did color, um, and I will color it when I show you the final sample on my website. I just don't want to take the time in this video to do it. Because you're going to get the mechanics of the card, and you can easily see the possibilities. This one here. And then let's take Carissa and we'll add her there. And then we have one final panel and you can see it folds. So it goes in an envelope. It's card size. Now you may stick a lot of decorations on it, which may require that you have to add extra postage if you are mailing it. Cause in a second, when I stick all of my little, embellishments on here, it's going to make it a little bit fatter. So I'm going to take ribbon and I want to have, um, kind of a bow that sticks out or, or a bow, but not one that sticks out. Sorry. Doing two things at once I'm trying to add this. So I'm going to just flip that over. I'm going to add my adhesive to here. And then make sure this gets sealed on like that. And then I'm just going to take another piece of this. And this is super fun. It's perfect for this card. I'll just add a little piece here. So the one I am designing for the peach class has um, some of that pr really pretty gold paper, the new gold. So it doesn't look anything like. So now we have a bow that will stay in the card. It will also stick up, or it's not even a bow, just some ribbon. It'll stick up on some of the other panels. Then let's take... Give our little puppy some stars. I think this is my favorite stamp in the image, the little puppy astronaut in his bone. Now this here. Put this here. So see, as long as you go panel to panel, it's pretty easy. Now there's one long stamp in this that we haven't used yet. And I want it to show um, someplace like it'll work here. So you need to kind of flip it and then see where you have a little bit of empty space. 
But see, each one has a, a story that it's telling. Hmm, we can almost put it there. That's where I have it on my other one, but I stamped too many stars there. So take the long one. And this one's, um, well, I'm notorious for not putting my stickers on. So I'll tell you what it says after I stamp it. I think it says celebrating you is the best. Just add this here. A celebrating you is a blast. I knew I said something like that. Um, so now you can see this on both panels. You can see it here and you can see it there. And then when you give them the card, they'll be able to stand it up wherever they want to stand it like that. So the last thing I want to do is just add a few little embellishments. And I really, there are so many. I thought about red rhinestones. If you still have the hearts, um, any of the in color jewels, but I want these that kind of look that are just gonna give a little bit of iridescence and they're also not giant. And I'm gonna use a ton of them. So for those of you that hoard embellishments, you might wanna look away because this is gonna be a lot. But if you hoard them, this is a great way to get rid of some of your old ones. And you can see how cute it's gonna look once they have all of this, just a little bit of additional extra color added. And these are the clear, they're from the clear and silver epoxy. And this is the clear. Got those. And you can see how the, it just flips over and tells a story. Put one down there like it's coming out of the rocket ship. You could also, you could use if you have, like if you do my classes and you get the little um, pieces and there's some that you've not used on cards, just mix them all up because they don't even all have to be the same. Let's do one more over here. And then I'll show you once more how the card kind of flips. And I'm gonna um, go back on some of these and just add that little bit of adhesive so they stay flat. But you know, when you're trying to do a video and do it fast, but see when you add those down, then it all stays and you lose some of that white. The one thing that you wanna make sure on this paper, because the back is not space. Um, so see right here where I didn't put it on exactly straight, it's okay. But I don't want those leaves showing because the leaves don't look like little kid's space birthday. So just take your scissors and just trim that down. On my other one, I did a really poor job and it wasn't until I was finished that I realized I had leaves everywhere. So there you go. Isn't that adorable? Just goes like this to put it in your envelope. Put it like this. Each one tells a story, remember to sign it. And then if you wanna see the finished pages colored, then go over and you can check it out on my website. So that's what I have for you today. Everybody have a great one and make sure you're on my email list so you find out all of the fun stuff that's coming up in July. Bye.